This is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to make our first tag in a swab. It is four by six. The size is the only requirement for the swab. I'm going to fast forward the majority of this video so that uh, you won't get bored at watching me do a repetitive action. I'm using Elma's rubber cement to put my tag on. And this sheet of cardstock is going to be my background. I'm placing my tag in the corner, so I only have to cut on two sides, making it much easier and quicker for me. I'm going around the edges of my tag with distressed ink. That will make the tag pop a little bit. I'm using Gesso next. This will tone down the color a little bit on my tag. And I'm using uh, my palette knife to get the gesso out and then my finger to spread it. This is a lot easier and quicker than actually using a brush. After putting the leftover gesso back in the jar, I find that cleaning the Palette knife is much easier than cleaning a brush. Here is a picture of my new embossing folder, and that's what I'm going to be using on this tag. If you look closely, you'll see the impressions there made by the embossing folder. But we're going to do something to make them really stand out. Again, I'm using my distressed ink to hit the areas that are uh, sticking up on the embossed tag. There's an area on my tag that has a darker blue in the background. So I'm gonna put a little darker blue uh, embossing ink in that area.
Now, I'm going to try a couple of different elements here and to see what I want to put on my tag. I have an idea that I want to do something for as far as spring is concerned. And I like working with the same colors, but different shades. So that's why I'm pulling out a lot of my blues. That little uh, birdcage is almost an antique. I've had him for about, I guess, 10 years. But I decided to give him up this time. It's time to get rid of him. Maybe I'll find another one one day. I have some eggs here that I have retrieved from a old commercial greeting card and I just kept the eggs off of it for a while. So I think I'm going to use them now. What I need is a nest and uh, the best way for me to make a nest right now is to take some string or thread in this case and wrap it around my fingers and just kind of make a wadded up nest. And I'm just putting some glue in the middle because that's where it'll be glued. The other areas will just be loose. By the way, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but that is a wooden spool, and that is not a uh, knockoff. It's a regular wooden spool that I've had for years. Even though this is an old wooden spool of thread, if you noticed, I wasn't able to break it off. I had to use a pair of scissors to cut it. Even though I've already put the threads on for my nest, I think I'm gonna stitch around my tag. Now I'm gonna put all my elements on my tag and we'll be through in a moment. First go the eggs, that's the focal point on this tag, then my little bird. And since the eggs have been put on a dimensional, I'll have to also put the bird on a dimensional. And the top part of the bird will have two dimensionals on top of each other, while the tail and the, regular, and the body of the bird I will only have one layer.
I was going to put a, a butterfly on it, but I don't care for the color. So I will have to go with something else. I have a couple pieces of bling here that I'm going to put on my tag and um, the black will go with the black stitching around the edge and the nest. You always need a little piece of bling on a tag. found this little label and I think I'll put it on my tag and um, I'll put the glue on it uh, on, at one edge so it'll stick out. After I glue this on, I had cut off an extra piece of the, the little uh, shiny dots and um, I'm gonna put it on this uh, label also. I want my label to stick out just a little bit, not a whole lot. It does it. I'm finished. Now I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching me make this tag. I hope you'll come back soon. And please have a great crafting day. And don't forget, please subscribe. Bye.